Doorbell ring. I wonder who that could be. Oh, Jaha. Yes, sir. That's what I like. Oh, part two. Here we go. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Back by popular demand, not just by you guys, but that first one I did sounded so good, I decided to buy another bazooka tube and another JL6W3 subwoofer to double the bass. Double the pleasure, double your fun. Looking forward to getting this going. Also, I won't bore you to death with all the details. If you want to do that, check the link to, in the description for the first one if you want to learn how to do the modifications. This video is strictly going to be comparing what a subwoofer base tube with the original subwoofer in it sounds like to a single and a double JL Audio subwoofer. So stick around, I've got some SPL, DB, and uh, audio, audio test coming up. I know I said I wouldn't get into the minutia, but I just wanted to point out this has two sets of terminals because it's a dual voice coil speaker that you could probably buy amp or run a series off of. Um, I'm just running a single voice coil with this new one. And so I'm gonna hook up these two center contact posts. Those are much easier to get to for dialing in. And there's this fancy little noise diffusion piece in the back here that the amplified version didn't have that looks like it has a purpose. So on the amplified version, I put foam back there. On this one, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay, there it is, JL Zuka number two. I did the same thing as the last one. Again, if you haven't seen that video, check the description and link to it below. And I did do everything, including the sound dampening material and pulling the foam, just like I did on the last one. Let's go plug it in. I just wanted to reiterate why I love bazookas. Look at this. This is the underneath seat of my truck. I could still fit all my tools. These things just take up no space. And I do prefer to have a, a rear facing subwoofer. I feel like it disperses the sound. It allows the sound wave to develop before it gets to the front seat. Uh, if you have front facing woofers, you're just robbing yourself of extra resonance and what the subwoofer is really meant to do, even with upward facing. Uh, a downward facing sub does something similar to these, but you're not gonna get a deep throw downward facing sub underneath these seats. I only have seven inches of clearance total. So um, that is why I love these six and a half inch tubes. All right, guys, here we go. I found some non-copywritten EDM music, which I figured would be pretty good to test this out. I'm gonna play the same song with the bazooka tube without any modifications, just the bazooka as it came. I'm gonna also play it with the JL modified bazooka, and then I'm gonna play it with two bazookas, and I'm gonna max the volume out. And my system is set up, at least with the JL, there's zero clipping at max volume. So here we go. Okay, because I can't run the spectrograph at the same time as I play the music, I'm just taking a screenshot of what it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna record the music on now separately so you guys can hear it yourselves. Here we go, this is the song that I played to get the, uh, the screenshots you'll see in a second. So this is the JL6W3. I don't know how much my old ears can handle this. I hope this is <laughs> helping you guys out. But uh, first impression, JL6W3, super tight, punchy. I feel it in my chest um, and a broad spectrum of bass. It also sounds really good down low. Okay, here goes the bazooka. I guess this is just the 100 watt passive sub, the 6024. Here we go. Seriously, <laughs> this is killing my ears. Uh, it sounds pretty good until you get up to like ear piercing volumes. I'd say like that middle range on that bazooka is actually pretty solid. I'm impressed. Uh, we got up to like 105 decibels versus 110 with the JL and you guys can compare the screenshots that I took of the two different um, speakers and how those frequency response curves looks like. I uh, clipped that screen basically during the same part of the song um, I also noticed that lower volume, the JL just sounds a lot more musical and, uh, and tighter. Whereas that bazooka, it's a very high sensitivity. 
So if you do like like a lot of bass when you're listening low, the bazooka might even be the way to go. It's it's a pretty darn good value. I have it hooked up to the same amp. I'm only running 150 watts RMS. So next video, we'll do two JLs running out of that amp. It'll be dropped down to two ohms. It'll be running running 125 watts each. I know I'm gonna get hate for playing EDM. I don't care. I, it's not the music I listen to anyway, but my son likes it, so that's what's important to me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, and you got to hear it. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna play just the screenshots of those three different speakers again, back to back, and just hold them up for a few seconds so you guys can compare the differences. All right, I hope that satisfied those of you that wanted to see what it sounded like. I apologize for not having that in the first video. Uh, I didn't know how to find copywritten, non-copywritten music and looked into that and found this and decided to start from scratch with a fresh woofer so you guys could hear what it sounded like from start to finish from the original bazooka, which was, uh, the actually original was uh, an active bazooka. It had a 100 watt built-in class D amplifier. And I gotta say, like, Honestly, the passive bazooka sounds pretty good with a quality amp. It blows the heck out of the um, the the, cell, the active bazooka tube. So if you're on a budget, I'd just recommend doing that, like getting the passive uh, bazooka tube. That was only a six and a half inch woofer putting out that kind of bass and then connecting it to a decent quality amp. But ultimately, if you're looking for sound quality and loudness, apparently, um, you know, you're, you're better off swapping out those JL bazookas. But you know, honestly, it's gonna sound good either way. I lived with a single pass uh, active bazooka for the last 15 years. I was happy with it until I upgraded my, my speakers uh, with really quality set of competition speakers my friend gave to me. So I had to do something to the subwoofer to make it match in terms of sound quality. And that's just something you can't measure with these tests. Uh, you really just have to kind of experience it. The JLs do sound a lot more musical, a lot more active. Uh, in terms of their ability to reset the note, they just, they 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 dampen well and um, you're getting a, a more realistic sound. I also don't hear as much droney kind of sound bass out of the, the JLs. Now, some of you might like that if you like like a deep rumbling bass, the bazooka actually does that pretty well. The JLs are designed to be uh, a more instrumental type of speaker and the price tag reflects that. So if you do like sound quality and you've got the funds, the JL gets the thumbs up from me all the way around. And again, if you haven't seen the first video, how I dis deconstructed an active bazooka from 15 years ago and rebuilt it with a JL, take a look at that. Uh, link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you did enjoy this. Share with your friends. And if you like DIY stuff, I, I dabble in all kinds of DIY stuff and I'm a carpenter. So please stick around and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more like this. Thanks and have a great day.